98. The rains came right after that. Now dry weather in Omaha, and the third member of our crew is down on a much drier field, Dana Hughes. And Dana, what's the plan for the pitching today in this game? Well, you guys touched on it. The big decision that comes after a rain delay or a suspension is how do you handle pitching that day? Well, the Ohio State Buckeyes, they're going to go with their closer, Andrew Magno. Now, the interesting twist is that this would be three days in a row that Magno was working behind the scenes or got some work on the mound. They probably won't have his abilities available for later today if they lose this game and probably even tomorrow. He could look to bounce back for the championship on Sunday. Conversely, Maryland, they were done with Mark DeLuglia. He was gonna be done anyway, so the question is, if they can get the lead, they'll go right to their closer. If not, you may see Andrew Vale on the mound. And we have a pinch runner right out of the gate for Maryland as Maxwell Costas is lifted and Ben Irvine into pinch run as the game resumes with a strike to Michael Pinero. Here we go again. Bottom of the eighth inning, 3-2 lead for Ohio State, and Ben Irvine running for the hottest hitter in the Maryland lineup, Maxwell Costas, so his game is done as Irvine will run at second. The 0-1, and Panero swings and misses, and quickly nothing in two. Andrew Magno, as Dana mentioned, pitching in his third straight day. He threw nine pitches yesterday. He threw 25 pitches in the first day of this tournament, got the save. Looking for the save here if he can get the next five outs. Still good life on that fastball and carry through the zone. That last pitch at 92 miles an hour. The layoff didn't hurt him at all. Walls, two strikes. Irvine running at second. And the pitch just missed that inside corner, one and two. Are you surprised, Scott, with the move to lift arguably Maryland's hottest hitter for Ben Irvine? It's a risk. Because if this game is tied, and it's a bat that could change the game with one swing, and you have to weigh the possibility of him ever coming up again and versus tying the game. And I think Rob Vaughn has pushed his chips to the table and said, hey, we've got to do everything we can to tie the game now. Monero down on strikes. Good sequence by Andrew Magno to get a very tough hitter in Michael Panero. Magno has an excellent fastball, and he's been starting off low in the zone, but he gets great carry and spin rate on this ball, which generates that late life. This ball gets by Pinero. It's the second out of this eighth inning. Both of these teams had the chance to hit before this game in the indoor cages, so they've had their swings early. They've gotten warmed up. As Justin Vogt settles in 0 for 2 in this ball game with a walk. Looks at the pitch low for ball one. I would like to state, though, this could quite possibly be the longest eighth inning I've ever witnessed. Well, it was so long, in fact, that the teams decided to change clothes in the middle of the eighth inning. Notice those highlights from last night. They look very different. That bright yellow is gone. The 1-0. Uh, Upstairs, and it's 2 now. I think Maryland was being considerate. They knew it was a night game, and so the, <laughs> they wanted us to be sure that we could see them now that it's a day game. They weren't worried about that anymore. Yeah, it's nice. Two balls, no strikes. Tying run is at second at Ben Irvine, and a swing and a miss by Vogt. It's two and one. Plenty of power here for Justin Vogt. He's hit 10 home runs on the year, the average 227. And the one here, that was a rocket that got out of TD Ameritrade in their first ball game. Not make a mistake to him. 2 1 pitch and a swing and a miss, and it's 2 and 2. Magno is not afraid of that power. He's going right back with that fastball. He's doing it on the outside part of the plate, but again, he's got that life and carry through the zone that's been difficult for the first couple of Maryland hitters. Two balls, two strikes, two down here in the eighth inning. Maryland trying to tie it up. Ohio State trying to slam the door after a long delay. The 2-2. Two -two. That's fouled back. Scott mentioned it. Justin Vogt two days ago now when this tournament opened up for Maryland. Boy, did he find good contact here. We got a slider that was up, but he did not miss it. It's belt high, and he hits it way up into the seats. No doubter. I'd love to see a similar result to this at-bat. 
even in the count two and two. Tying run in the form of Ben Irvine out at second. And the 2-2. Off speed, got it. Pretty good work off the suspended game from Andrew Magno. Gets both Pinero and Vogt to go down swinging. And after almost a 12-hour wait, the wait was worth it. How do you like me now, Andrew Magno?